election is less than three weeks away, and the education funding reform ballot continues to confuse. 16 WAPT's Ann Parker is live at the Jackson Medical Mall, where a town hall meeting about Initiative 42 just wrapped up, and, and a lot of people with questions there tonight. Yeah, and it took nearly 200,000 signatures to get Initiative 42 on the ballot. And tonight, some of them came out to find out what Initiative 42 actually means and says for public schools across Mississippi. Uh, I'm a parent, grandparent, and all of us want what's best for our children. U.S. Congressman Benny Thompson and State Senator Solly Norwood say the future of Mississippi's children depends on Initiative 42 passing November 3rd. If passed, Initiative will force the legislature to fully fund public schools, something teachers tell us would make a huge difference in preparing students for the future. So just think, learning is just not about sitting in a chair being tested. It's about experiencing life. And they're not able to do that with no resources at all. There are two options for voters on November 3rd's ballot, Initiative 42 or Initiative 42A. So it's doing what the legislature uh, leadership wanted to happen. To say that it was put on there intentionally, intentionally to confuse people, I just, I'll just have to uh, respectfully disagree with my colleague. The biggest difference in initiative 42 and 42A. 42 is going to make the funding available, we'll, we'll make sure that the money uh, that the state would allocate to fund 42, A doesn't do anything. I mean, it's just basically the status quo. And I can look at every other model in every other state. They pour into their educational system because they know that's what's going to keep us floating five years from now. You see this on your ballot on November 3rd. It's going to look something like this. Of course, this is for Initiative 42 because that's the meeting we were at tonight. But this will is what it will look like for Initiative 42 and 42A. And the most important thing to know is whether you're voting for 42 or 42A. Make sure you check each box each box twice for your vote to count once. Again, make sure that you check each box twice for your vote to count once. Live in Jackson, Ann Parker, 16 WAPT News. Yeah, a little different than just voting for a candidate.